Hello, today I'm going to show you how to capture an image so you can create a WIM file. Um, first step is to create a VM where it has all those software and settings that you need. Make sure you make it a VM, that way it has less drivers, it makes the image a lot smaller. Also make sure the image is not bound to AD and it does not have the SCCM client on it. So the first step will be open up file explorer and then you could go to ITS steps from here you go to ITNAs on dropshare then to the SCCM folder and then you'll see this ISO right here so this is the path in case you need to see it again um, all you gotta do is just drag this ISO over to Windows 10 VM After that, it's really, really simple. All you do is just double click it, run this launch media. Next, you will have to uh, select a destination. Right now, I have an external hard drive plugged in and connected to my VM. So, I'm going to save the image there. Um, I currently have one, so let me just delete that. Okay, so let me connect my external hard drive. Should show up pretty soon. There we go. So I'm going to save it in here. I'll name it test. And then we'll just hit save. And you could, this is just extra information if you just want to write a description and version. Um, it gives you a a summary of what you selected and hit finish and then from there we'll just run this task sequence and continue and then it'll finish and place that whim on the external hard drive once that's done you could make move that whim over to network share where SCCM ops has access to or you give temp access to or you could just hand over the external hard drive and you just copy it over after that, we just create the task sequence for you and we'll let you know when it's done. Um, I'll give you the how it looks when it's done. So now that you're done, you'll notice a message at the end of it just confirming that it was finished successfully. After that, you can go to your external and verify that the WIM file is there. Um, again, you can upload this WIM file to a network share where SCCM Ops has access to. Um, if you need help with that, just let us know. Or you could physically come over here and give us the one file uh, via your external hard drive. Thank you.